Sadnam Namaste. So energetically what's going on right now is something called divine confrontation. Divine confrontation. People talk about wanting things to change. And what they really want is their outer circumstances to change. A better job, more money, uh, more time, optimal health, better relationships, more peace in their life. And what they really want is to be in control of their change on their terms. You know, I want you to change. I want the government to change. I want real leadership, this sort of thing. The truth is that if you want real change in your life, real change in the world, it means that you have to change. The truth is that if you want real change in your life, real change in the world, it means that you have to change. And real change involves moving past your comfort zone. And the universe is giving us lots of opportunities to change. And you're probably experiencing that mostly through your relationships. These people in your life are confronting you to expand past your limited belief systems. And these belief systems come from your conditioning. All those influences you bought hook, line, and sinker as you grew up. These belief systems often go back to your previous lifetimes. If you want to learn a little bit more about conditioning, go to the CatalystYogi.com website. There's a video uh, that's posted. So in order to evolve, we need to push past these limited belief systems. This is the global paradigm shift that must occur for humanity to move to the next level of consciousness. And this means going to the personal. So, you need to shift your perspective. Look at each person you meet as the divine working through them for the benefit of your soul's evolution. So you need to shift your perspective. Look at each person you meet as the divine working through them only for the benefit of your soul's evolution. Now you have already or you will begin to experience conflict more and more. And conflict is not a bad thing. Conflict is a necessary step to get at the truth. And there is a kernel of truth in every interaction, otherwise you would not attract it to you. And sometimes it's not pleasant, it's not graceful, and sometimes we need an explosion, an implosion, an outburst to get at the truth, to get aligned with truth. For example, a person in your life will tell you that you're emotionally needy. Or they need more space from you. Or they'll say, I don't like how you talk to me. Or they will just simply avoid you altogether. So in these cases, don't allow your ego to take over and blame it all on the other person. It's their problem, not mine. Basically saying, I'm perfect and they're wrong. And this is taking no self-responsibility for what you've created in your life. Because you've created this divine confrontation. So where does this come from? This is the ego, right? The ego, it, to the ego, it feels like a threat, a death. To even consider that this, what this person is saying might be true. So where does this come from? This is the ego. It feels like a threat to the ego. It feels like a death to the ego to even consider that what this other person is saying might be true. Now, keep in mind, you may be on the other side of the table and dealing with somebody who will take absolutely no self-responsibility. And remember that they are only a reflection of your own resistance. And also, you may fall into the Pluto generation. That's in Virgo. And if you were born between 1956 and 1972... Right, If you're in this generation, you will be extremely self-critical anyway. And any feedback from another person will be perceived as criticism. And this will send you into the deep end of self-loathing. 
right? So the ego will be up in swinging punches trying to protect you from this. So just start listening to what the divine is trying to tell you through other people. No need to immediately say yes, they're right, I'm selfish, I'm a victim, or whatever negative feedback you're receiving. Just place it on the back burner so that you can reflect on it later. And this means neither agreeing nor disagreeing. You're just allowing. And we're all being pressurized right now to go inside. Go within and get honest with ourselves and ask yourself, what is the divine trying to show me? Where do I need to change? What beliefs am I holding on to that are holding me back? And if you receive uh, no clear answers and confusion is still all around you, you may have to pray for truth. Pray for truth. Show me the illusions and the delusions that I'm holding on to that are keeping me stuck in my life right now. Show me the highest truth in this situation or with this other person. In this way, you'll be opening up a space for that growth and expansion for change to really take place because that's what your soul wants. And when the divine is working through you, as you give feedback to another person, and it will happen because the intensity of truth is on the move right now. So in that case, remember to speak from your own experience. Instead of saying, you know, you're so full of yourself and you're self-centered, here's what you do. Here's an example. So you say, when you only talk about yourself all the time, I feel invisible. And what I say really doesn't matter to you. So no one can argue away your experience because it's yours. If you have a stubbed toe and you're in pain and you say, you know what, I'm in pain and somebody's trying to argue that you're not in pain, right? They can't argue with your experience. So this is an incredible time of growth, expansion and liberation. So spend the next week listening to the divine, speaking to you, guiding and ultimately loving you with each and every interaction, each and every divine confrontation so that you can see where you're stuck. Okay, have a great week. Satnam Namaste.